Today we are on the Moody 54, which is the brand new Moody, just recently launched, and I'm here to explain you some features of this nice boat. The boat can be optionally equipped with two head sails. One is the inside furler, which has the self-tacking jib. The self-tacking jib goes on the track and is ideal for tacking upwind. Just before the self-tacking jib, you will find the large Genoa, which goes up to a 125% Genoa, which can be used for downwind or half-wind courses. They're both fitted on the on-deck stem head. The stem head has two anchor rollers. One roller is for the anchor, and the other one can be for an optional mooring line. The anchor is pulled in by the standard anchor winch, which is an on-deck fitting, and can be controlled by two push buttons, which are fitted on the deck. A huge page for storing your additional sails, fenders or lines. Optionally, you can also convert this area to a skipper cabin. The skipper cabin will have a bed, a toilet and a small sink for the skipper. Below the flooring, you find access to the boat thruster for maintenance. The compartment has a ladder to step down so you can easily go in and out. Unique for this boat is the high bulwark. The bulwark with on top the fixed railing. It gives a very solid feeling for going forward and aft on the side decks. But besides this, it's also very secure for small children or animals because they cannot slide overboard because of the high bulwark. It gives the boat a very distinctive line from the outside and it more or less covers the height of the coach roof from the side. From the outside view, it hides the height of the coach roof. The optimal light comes through these huge panels of glass we have, which give ample of glass to the owner's cabin and the other cabins inside the boat. The self-tacking jib track, as mentioned before, is ideal for tacking upwind. This comes as a standard on this boat. The boat is standard equipped with an electrical in-mast furling from Selden. All the halyards stay on the mast and are with steel wire and are tensioned with a tensioner on the mast. All the other lines, like the reefing lines, the in and the out all, go underneath the deck directly to the helm's position where they can be controlled by the helmsman. The boat is equipped with four cleats on each side, two on the bow, four spring cleats and two aft, and they nicely move in and out. The fixed railing has an opening on both sides, which is integrated with a ladder to step down to the water or dinghy. Although the boat is equipped with all furling sails, so it's not likely that you need to go forward on the foredeck when the weather is bad. But in case you need to, you have a solid grip by a nice holder on the deck saloon and a high fixed railing on the side, which gives you a very easy and solid and safe passage on the side deck. All the reefing lines and furler lines are brought back to the helmsman. The helmsman can still, while steering the boat and keeping the helm, get all lines, change them and release them with one hand. So both help, helm position have control buttons for mainsail, furlers in and out, for the electrical winches, bow thrusters and engine control. So basically the helmsman can control the boat completely while sailing or on engine behind the helm's position on his own. It's child's play to maneuver this boat with the bow and stern thruster in the marina and you don't need a second hand uh, because you already have two, meaning a bow and a stern thruster. From both helm positions, the helmsman has an excellent view. He can either look over the saloon, he can look alongside the saloon while sailing or sit down and look straight through the saloon. On the helm's positions, all the controls are there. There's space for a large yard plotter, the autopilot controls, the furling controls, the engine controls, and of course the bow and stern thruster control. We should not also forget that the Econ Plus is integrated here as well. It has a firm handhold, so even in rough weather, the helmsman has a very sturdy position. The backrests of the helm seat have a double function design. You can take them off, turn them around and use them to sit higher as a helmsman or when you're in the marina you have a relaxing position looking aft over the water. The boat has a nice swimming platform which can be opened with the buttons hydraulically 
from the, from the helm's position or with remote control in the open position you can enter a dinghy in the dinghy garage or you can use it as a storage with the big hatch opening from the aft deck. It's easy to go down to the platform by using the ladder which is integrated in the railing and can be opened down, converted into a ladder going down to the platform or be used as a swimming ladder. The garage is big enough to carry a 265 tender but you need to get some air out because the width is not sufficient for a fully inflated tender. If you wish to buy a hydraulic gangway, it will be positioned in this position. So then you have another opening coming from this side to address the platoon when you're moored aft. The spacious owner's cabin has a very huge owner's bed with movable backrests at the top end. The cabin has indirect light in this position, indirect light in this position, and has dimmable overhead lights. There's a lot of ventilation in the cabin by two opening hatches and two opening portholes. The big overhead window gives you ample of light during the day and you have a nice view directly on the rig. A small vanity chair for the lady and a built-in television makes this cabin complete for the owner. A nice settee which is openable for additional storage. On storage in this owner's cabin is ample of space you can find lockers on both sides with lights inside hanging lockers and you have large drawer and opening locker space below multiple lockers on the sides all the way around the bed a big drawer underneath the bed and another big storage space when you lift the top side of the bed the owner cabin has very nice warm ambience we have an infill of a fabric into the wood which is nicely incorporated in the entire ship and gives a very warm feeling to the wood. The round edges are also protected with a nice fabric and the ceiling is also covered with a nice fabric to give a very luxurious feeling to the boat. The air conditioning unit is positioned exactly next to the head end of the bed. The outlet of the air conditioning is on top of the lockers, nicely hidden and blows the air into the room while you're sleeping at a minimum of noise. At night you can close off all the natural light coming in by closing the blinds. The blinds are nicely integrated behind the wooden frame. The opening portals also have a separate blind which is mounted to the inner liner and all the hatches and the windows on the roof have nice blinds for daylight coming in and also for making the room completely dark. To create your optimum ambience in the owner's cabin, all the lights are dimmable. The overhead lights and the two different indirect lights. They are easy accessible from the bed end by pushing the button and dimming them to the desired light volume. Next to the numbers of lockers in the owner's cabin, you also find a very spacious locker below the owner's bed, which can easily be opened. And you can store all pillows or bed covers or whatever you like. The boat is equipped with highly high quality comfort mattresses. They have integrated springs, a mesh to avoid condensation within the mattress and multiple layers to give you the optimum comfort while you're sleeping. Five steps below the saloon floor, you find a spacious hallway, which gives you access to the owner's cabin, the two guest cabins and the day head. You also find the keel step mast nicely covered with fabric. The ensuite head has a very spacious wash basin together with ample of locker space and an electrical toilet which can easily be operated from the panel next to the toilet. The ensuite shower is completely separated from the head by a plexiglass door. Below the seats in the shower you can find the seat cocks for closing the sink while you're sailing. For the toilet we have an 85 liter holding tank which is positioned directly underneath the side deck. This is what we so call the VIP cabin on this boat. It's a very spacious guest cabin where you have a huge bed of 160 by 2 meters. You have ample of locker storage and you have walking height all alongside the bed throughout the cabin. This cabin has next to additional locker space also a television 
which comes out of the wall so you can look at it from the bed. The cabin has ample of daylight. There are two hall windows which give a view directly on the sea. There's one porthole openable to the side deck. And there's also a window which goes up and you can see straight through the main saloon windows to the rig. And suite of the cabin, there is a door directly to the second bathroom in the boat. The ensuite head also has a very spacious wash basin, lockers and a separate shower stall. With also an electrical toilet. The toilet also has a separate 85 liters holding tank. The third cabin is as nicely finished as the other ones. It has a slightly smaller bed but is still convenient for two. It has ample of storage space and also has two hull windows which gives you direct view on the sea, an opening porthole to the side deck and a large clothing locker. The big surprise for this 54 footer boat is that it also holds a fourth cabin which is unique in the size of this boat. The cabin is orientated in the aft part of the boat. It has its own toilet with a shower in the same toilet. The cabin has two separate beds which are quite spacious for two people to sleep. The cabin can optionally be equipped with an air conditioning as well. Besides air conditioning, it has three portholes. One to the cockpit, which is openable. One to the side deck, which is openable as well. And there's also a hull window, so you can look directly to the sea. The cabin has, as all other cabins, the same functionalities in the nice lighting systems with the overhead lights and the indirect lights, which are all dimmable. The toilet has a spacious wash basin with locker space as well. The toilets, which can optionally be equipped as an electrical one as well, holds 85 liter holding tank. In this half toilet, you also find a dedicated space where you can have the optional washer dryer for doing all your laundry on board instead of the marina. Or the beauty about this deck saloon is that it has a true 360 degrees vision, a full panoramic vision. Currently we are on, on engine on the small river and you can operate the boat even from the inside with the engine control as we're driving the boat here and the autopilot control from here. It's nice and quiet while it's cold outside and we stay in and we have the excellent vision as we are outside. So I'm now controlling the boat from the inside. The engine throttle here so I can go faster and slower as I like. I have the autopilot control on this side and can steer with the little pin the boat in the direction I, where I want to go. For normal operating, of course it's more safer to operate the boat from the outside. But still, when you're inside, you're able to see everything and control the boat as well. Maybe for long distance sailing, it's nice to have like a pyramid watch inside, having the view and being able to, to maneuver or to steer the boat from this position. The dining table has two positions in standard. It has a full opening position for dining up to six people. If you're with less people or just wanted to have a drink, you can fold in a few parts of the table and make it smaller to have the positions for your drink holders and have a nice drink. The table has a sliding function so you can move it exactly in the most desired position for having dinner or having drinks. Opposite of the dining table you find the optional pop-up TV for a relaxing evening watching television. In front of the television we also have an integrated pocket for keeping your seat charge. In order to operate the boat from the inside in all weather conditions, we have standard built-in windscreen demisters. The demisters, six pieces, are switched on by a switch just above the control panel and they can demist the windows on a rainy day. On a sunny day or a warm day, we have an integrated window which opens to the inside, so cannot be damaged from the outside but gives the possibility to have the airflow coming in from the bow and go out through the sliding doors. Next to this 360 degree panoramic vision by all the glass which surrounds us, we also have a nice full light stripe over the saloon, which gives ample of light into the saloon and also gives you the possibility when you're inside to see your entire rig and mainsail at all condition. Of course, these windows can be blind either for day sunlight or during the night if you want to have things more dark inside, completely darkened. 
all deck hatches and deck lights have the sun blinds and of course total blinds. The boat offers a very huge pantry up in the saloon next to the cockpit. The pantry has a double sink position and a mixer tap in standard. It also has a double trash bin, a fridge which can be accessed from the top while you're sailing and a little door for the bottom part. Ample of space throughout the galley, a three burner stove with oven and a unique sliding system for the corner piece. Optional, we have built in a dishwasher, an additional fridge as a drawer and a microwave built in. As a bar position, we have a pop-up bar which can hold glasses or bottles as you prefer. All the tops are of solid Korean. The framings are of solid Korean. Gives a nice atmosphere to the total of the boat. The unique concept of this boat is the one level living concept. Which means is that we have the same level of the saloon floor as we have of the cockpit floor. No other boat has this concept and it provides you with ample of living space during the day. Either inside or outside. When we open the sliding door, on one side and the sliding window on the other side. We incorporate the inside space with the outside space, which is unique for this boat. Coming into the cockpit, we immediately notice that we have two parts of the cockpit. First, we have the sitting area. The sitting area is nicely sheltered, a little bit deeper in the boat than the steering positions are. It has a nice L-shaped sofa with a large table which can be foldable all the way to the other side. On the other side we have a nice long settee where the front part optionally can be changed into a wet bar where you can also incorporate a grill or a barbecue. The table can be electrically going up and down to create a sun pad. The good thing about this cockpit is not only sheltered by the saloon but it's also sheltered by the integrated Bimini on top of us. We have two GOP wings going all the way aft of the cockpit, which incorporates the cockpit lights and also dedicated spaces for the cockpit speakers. The middle part, the canvas part, can be openable. It's an integrated Bimini, which can easily be opened by just pulling on the leash and pushing the system forward. to create one open space. With the table down and the additional pillow on top of it, it creates a nice sunbed for sunbathing in the cockpit. Optional for additional comfort in the cockpit, we also offer a nice additional fridge to keep your drinks cold during a hot day. In the cockpit, you also find a very large locker space. The locker space is integrated in the cockpit seat. It's easily opening, remains open, has a little stairs down where you can store your gear. The electronic system on board is a state-of-the-art bus system. It will be controlled by one control panel, which is in the hallway. On this control panel, you can easily choose what state you would like the boat to be in. We have a function to say away, and then the boat shuts off everything automatically. We have the off-board, which means when you go out for shopping but you want your refrigerating and freezer still on, then you press the onboard situation, off-board situation. It's also a normal onboard situation or boating or boating by night. The programming of these systems can be addressed exactly to the owner's wishes by the shipyard. As this is a new system and we require the most safety on board, we also have a full backup system in case this computer might not work. This boat is standard equipped with multiple bilge pumps. We have one electrical bilge pump which is based in the engine room. 
which has a manual override on the screen. Same for the center part of the boat. Because of the raised saloon, we have lots of space underneath the saloon floor, where we have incorporated a full engine room with most of the electronic and all the other devices. It opens easily and stays open with the two hydraulic rams. And when you're down, you have a complete overview on all the techniques. In the engine room, everything is nicely divided. Close to the entrance, you have the fuel management system, where you can manually switch from one fuel tank to the other, for both the engine and the generator. The engine is positioned in the middle. The generator, in its fully insulated box, is on this side. Behind the generator, we have another big box, which holds most of the air conditioning units.